and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What up, everybody? Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the 8 p.m. offers, guys. I know this is a ton of videos today. I literally recorded like seven, seven videos today. I have the, the morning one. I had the 10.30 one. It's two. I had the... What else did I have? The 12 offer one, the market one, the gameplay one, that's five. This will be the sixth, and then hopefully I can get back at 12 p.m. for a seventh. I'm mentally drained, guys. If I look drained, I'm sorry. There's been a lot to do today, and it's just such a rush. You know, I gotta, I gotta rush between doing things for school and doing everything. So, I'm trying to get these out to you guys as quickly as possible. Hopefully, these offers are cool. Hopefully, we enjoy them, and then I should be back around 12 later today to come back for that Centennial pack, which is going to be the banger. So, stay tuned for that. The Centennial and the Series Redux are the ones I'm looking forward to. I did pick up a few offers, as you guys can see in the bottom right corner. I'm going to be saving those for around Christmas. I really want to pull some fire during Christmas. I'm going for my first LTD pull during Christmas. I'm calling it now, so I better have those packs ready to go. Now, guys, let's go over check the offers. But before we do, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, Debo boys. I got you with almost every Blitz offer that comes out that's relevant. I got you guys with daily content, gameplays, Madden videos. Every reason to subscribe. So make sure you come join the family. Comment down below, boys, what you think of the Blitz promo so far. Keep giving me your ratings. I want to know what you guys think on a scale from 1 to 10 and give me a reason why. And if you have it, because I will, oh, by the way, the reason for that, if you guys are wondering, is that I do do a content review at the end of the month, the whole month of November and all the content that came out. So I'll help me eyes out if I can see what you guys thought. Maybe you guys changed my opinion. But that's about it. Smash the like button. Let's get 200 likes in this video, boys. And let's head over to the store to go see the offer. So as you guys know today we have gotten some bundles this legend bundle is a really 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 good value considering that is the price of a regular legend bundle and you get the nfl 191 plus but that will be coming out and what we're looking forward to later tonight at midnight is the centennial pack guys just let you guys remember just so you guys remember we're assuming it's going to be one free nfl 100 well not free one nfl 100 player guaranteed from that pack so make sure to get that pack as soon as you can later make sure you're on the game it should be an hour from 12 to 1 a.m now let's head over to the ones we're worried about right now now the first thing we have is Margus Hunt and Jalen Smith. These are going to be the APM ones. So, Margus Hunt's an 88 overall, I believe, defensive tackle for the Indianapolis Colts. I will show you guys the stats after we go over this. He has 1,700 bolts, which, after, I mean, I don't think he's really worth it. If you, unless you guys want the extra master tickets, because obviously he's eight master tickets and Jalen Smith's 23. So, if you need about 31, you're still a little bit away from Chris Johnson. Not a bad idea to go get them. But, I'm in you know, defensive tackle is never that exciting. We did just get Mean Joe Green today, so I'd probably rather look, keep my eyes on the prize when it comes to that. But not a bad card. You can get up to two of them. So don't forget that if you do need more master tickets, you can get up to two and use those. Now, the next one is going to be Jalen Smith, 91 overall middle linebacker. He's going to be a crazy athletic linebacker. Great stats all around. Great hit power and everything. So I'm going to go show you guys his stats after I show you guys all this. So you guys can have an idea of what they look like. But I'm definitely a big fan of these cards. Jalen Smith's probably one of the better user linebackers in Madden at the moment. Considering how we all know what he plays like in real life. He's athletic. He can hit. He can play zone. He's, de he's decent size. Quite honestly, I'm pretty hyped for this card. And hopefully, he's not too expensive. And guys, real quick, one little tin of advice here, just a little tip. I recommend when these come out, you buy them when they when they drop in price, because a lot of them are going for a lot less than their training value. So when Jalen Smith first comes out, he's gonna be a very valuable linebacker. He might come down to like in the few early moments, maybe like low 100K, maybe high 90s, depending on how valuable people deem that. I recommend you pick up a few. That's a pretty good investment. I was heading over to the stats real quick. First card is Margus Hunt right here, as you guys see. I do not have the actual card stats out there, not on the block yet. But as you guys can see, 88 overall defensive tackle, 82 speed, 85 excel, 84 strength, 79 tackle. He is 6'8. Holy crap. Am I seeing that right? 6 foot 8. He is huge. 80, 85 play rec, 82 block shed, 84 power move, 68 finesse move. This is why I really didn't like him. He is really athletic, really tall. If this was last year and you wanted those QB spy uh, picks, maybe. But for this year, not too great tackle, decent play rec, bad block shed, bad power move, bad finesse. He kind of a defensive tackle that's really tall that just stands there. Not the biggest fan of this card. A lot better defensive tackles like Michael Pierce at a similar price range that I'd rather have. Obviously, he's for the blitz cards and the blitz tickets more than likely. I wouldn't really recommend you put him on an actual squad. Maybe a cold steam team would be okay on. Not something I'm really looking forward to picking up. But the Jalen Smith definitely gonna look a lot nicer. Let's go check out his stats next. So we got the 91 Jalen Smith. Really cool card art. Six foot two. So yeah, his height is really good for a user linebacker. Anything above six foot, uh, six feet is typically good. But every extra inch definitely helps with the reach they can have, the jumping ability, the height, the ability to really lurk someone with that height. He's got 87 speed, 91 excel. So that makes him one of the most athletic user linebackers in Madden right now. One of the most, not the most, but he's definitely up there. Has a similar Ryan Shazier type build with the speed and excel. 73 strength. I could tell us about the strength because he's probably my user guy. 
not gonna bother me too much 85 tackle is decent again he's my user so he's gonna be more so downfield going after you know lurks and picks and maybe stopping plays closing gas more so than i'm gonna be like one-on-one -on -one tackling with him and if i do i feel like when you use it the tackle doesn't really affect you as it typically would next we got 87 play rec so you put lockdown on this guy and you power him up he's gonna have above 90 play rec he's gonna have really great play rec so he's gonna be really good in the zone 76 block shed 92 hit power and an 84 zone that's what i meant he's gonna be really good in the zone i was reading ahead so his zone maxed out and chemed up probably gonna be like an 88 89 depending on if you have john madden if you do put john madden on him let's see 85 powered up plus two for lockdown i'll go up like to like 80 87 and then if you can get john madden on times two i mean he may even get us like an 88 89 zone coverage which isn't bad on a cowboys team team he's gonna feast he's gonna be like a cornerback out there really really good card I wonder how many will be made. He's definitely going to be a popular option, especially for all those Cowboys fans out there, considering he's one of the biggest fan bases. And the hit power is amazing too. 92 hit power. He can definitely lay the boom. So as a user card, that's what you look for to use a card. Height, speed, excel, hit power, zone. And I believe his jumping is pretty good too, as is his reach being that 6'2". Definitely a great card. Let's head over to the Madden screen to see the rest of the offers. All right, so that covers these offers right here. And then we still got the Blitz Bolts packs. So you guys know these do drop. Pretty much every hour in the hour now blitz nfl 100 fantasy pack I'm kind of tempting with my blitz bolts to open that real quick since that is still there as we can see the one that did just uh, will be coming out for the eight is the blitz legend fantasy pack now guys this one is pretty good honestly for 1500 is a pretty good option considering it's similar to a blitz nfl legend pack except it's more of a, it's a regular legend format in comparison to the nfl blitz format which is going to be more blitz uh, oriented players now in my opinion this is a great buy legend fantasy packs go for like 100k if my memory serves me correctly. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I forget. I don't really open packs fast. Don't kill me. But 1,500 Blitz Bolts is definitely a worthwhile price for a Legend Fantasy Pack. Because they are the most expensive pack typically. And maybe the NFL Fantasy Packs. NFL 100 I should say. But in my opinion, I would definitely recommend opening these. Especially if you need the Master Tickets. Like, screw efficiency. I don't know how efficient it is. But 7 Master Tickets for one of the best packs in the game. I'd highly recommend you guys go do that. I have my Blitz Bolts. I'm going to try to probably get in one of these too. Quite honestly. Because... It's a great pack. I can put it away, maybe do a video for you guys, save some packs, and maybe do a variety pack opening. I think this is one of the better ones to open out of all the other ones. And guys, just real quick, I want to go over something that's kind of important. Just give you guys a little heads up. I did make a market video going over this, but in case you didn't see that, I still recommend you guys go check that out. But just a quick heads up. And the market is going to crash viciously in the next few days. We got the we got the fantasy packs, legend fantasy packs, the game changers, the team of the week packs. We got every kind of pack, so every card on the block is going to be taking a hit. And it does it gets even worse, guys, because look at this. The better cards have been coming out soon, so there's going to be a lot more higher overalls coming to the game. And to make it worse, the Centennial Pack and the Redux Pack is coming soon. So the Centennial Pack is tonight at midnight. Make sure you get on for that. You have an hour limit, so you should be able to, you'll be just fine as long as you don't fall asleep, which I have done in the past, which really sucks when you wake up after a nap and you miss, the, you miss the offer. And the Series Redux. So the Series Redux Fantasy Pack, I probably think will be three cards, a three-card format. You pick any one. If it is that, guys, a lot of cards are going to be going down in price. A lot of fans, a lot of Series cards are going to be going down in price, like COO Series Redux. And NFL 100 players. So if you guys haven't bought any yet, I'd recommend you wait at this point. If you want Lawrence Taylor and you haven't bought him yet, just wait for the Centennial Pack tonight at midnight and be on. Even if you don't buy the pack, you could still just sit there and try to snipe cards because you could probably snipe out a lot of the Centennial players for a really, really good deal. Specifically, like Lawrence Taylor for like 600K, Barry Sanders for 450. So I'd wait. And then again, even if you snipe them out for cheap, you don't have to keep them. You could just wait, wait like a week or so. Maybe prices come back up and you can just resell them for a lot. This could be a great opportunity to make a ton of coins. And same things with the series Redux players. Remember, these guys are already cheap as it is. They're going to get crazy cheap. And we all know that Aaron Donald and Dion, if they go down to like 300K, 350, they're not going to stay there. So I recommend you guys go pick up some pick up some coins, get yourself some coins from the sponsor, open some packs. So what you guys got to do to get your coin stack up, be ready. Because I wouldn't recommend selling cards to get your coin stack up because you're just going to lose money with how down the market is. But I think it's going to come to a massive crash and specifically Centennial with this from the centennial pack and the redux pack just stay ready for that guys just want to help you guys out there i did do a market video going over all the in-depth analysis so make sure you check that out after this video of course that's about it for the video guys thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel go down below hit that subscribe button turn that audio boys come join the family we're at 13.3k just about let's keep grinding let's see if we can get to 14k in like a week or so obviously we're not gonna hit our timetable for the first day of december but that's all okay we get the christmas promo coming up i'm super hyped for all that make sure to go down below don't forget to comment your review of the Blitz promo on a scale of 1 to 10. I want to keep getting your opinions so I can make my video in the coming days. And make sure to smash the like button. Can we get 250 likes on this 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. offers? That'd be greatly appreciated, guys. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.